Ladies and gentlemen, commencement is a very formal ceremony. It is not a contact sport. Therefore, you will conduct yourselves accordingly. Mr. President, as a senior member of the faculty, it is my personal privilege and high honor to inform you that the academic community is assembled before us. Ladies and gentlemen, to open officially the December 2009 commencement ceremony of the University of Texas at San Antonio. Will the university marshal bearing the mace and the faculty marshals conveying the banners for the College of Liberal and Fine Arts and the College of Public Policy please come forward to position the mace and post the banners. The UTSA faculty, university administrators and staff, and our community of UTSA graduates welcome you, our guests, to the UTSA commencement. I am Professor Felix Almaraz and will serve as master of ceremonies for this event. Will all please rise for the singing of the national anthem led by UTSA student Christopher I. Garcia and the posting of the colors by the UTSA Air Force Honor Guard. Say. Hey. 
Please be seated. <clears throat> it is now my pleasure to introduce members of the stage party whom I will ask to stand and be recognized. I ask you to hold your applause until all members of the stage party have been recognized. Dr. Ricardo Romo, President of the University of Texas at San Antonio. I will pause momentarily to acknowledge that in this audience there are guests from Spain, Mexico, and Latin America. This is their first time at a UTSA commencement. Therefore, they are accustomed to a more formal introduction. And according to the rules of protocol, then I will make this introduction. En acuerdo con las reglas del el Código Académico, es un gran honor y placer introducir al rector magnífico de la Universidad de Texas de San Antonio, el distinguido Ricardo Romo. I will proceed with the rest of the introduction. Dr. Gage E. Payne, Vice President for Student Affairs. Dr. Dorothy A. Flanagan, Dean of the Graduate School. Dr. Daniel J. Jello, Dean of the College of Liberal and Fine Arts. Dr. Dennis T. Haynes, Interim Dean of the College of Public Policy. Dr. Rosalie N. Ambrosino, Professor of Social Work and University Marshal. Dr. Carolyn E. Ahart, Professor of Anthropology, representing the faculty of the College of Liberal and Fine Arts. Dr. Francine Sanders Romero, Associate Professor of Public Administration, representing the College of Public Policy. Dr. Ann R. Eisenberg, Associate Professor of Psychology, representing the faculty of the Honors College. And the Honorable Robert Killen, President of the UTSA Alumni Association. Please join me in welcoming the members of our stage party. Thank you, and you may be seated. Rob Killen received his Bachelor of Arts degree in Political Science at UTSA in 1997 and is a lawyer. He is a shareholder and vice president of the law firm of Kaufman and Killen, his firm specializing in land use law, economic development, and governmental relations. As an undergraduate, Mr. Killen served as president of the Student Government Association and president of the Lambda Chi Alpha Fraternity Chapter. He was elected to the board of the UTSA Alumni Association in 2005. He has served as treasurer, a member of the executive committee, and he chaired the Community Relations Committee for three years. In recognition of his outstanding service on the board, he was named board member of the year in 2008. Mr. Killen serves on several boards, including the North Chamber of Commerce Board of Directors and the Via Metropolitan Transit Authority Citizens Advisory Council. In 2008, the San Antonio Business Journal recognized him as one of its 40 under 40 rising stars, and in 2009 was selected by Scene in San Antonio Magazine as a rising star attorney. Rob's wife, Melissa, also an attorney, is general counsel for a local governmental entity. Rob is a life member of the Alumni Association. Mr. Rob Killen will now greet tonight's graduating class on behalf of the association. Thank you. Let me be the first to congratulate and welcome our new alumni, congratulations and, and welcome. I also want to congratulate and thank the family and friends who came to support you. Thank you very much for being here this evening. You're now part of a family of over 78,000 proud UTSA graduates. As president of the Alumni Association, it is my honor and privilege to be part of your commencement program. This is an exciting event and one that reinforces our pride in UTSA. Commencement is a beginning not an end. Over the past several years, you have made new friends, studied, partied, and matured. Now you're ready to begin your new life as a college graduate. For some, this will mean more years of study and preparation. For others, you'll be starting a new career or advancing your current career. Whatever course your future takes, it is my sincere hope that you will look back on your years at UTSA 
as having prepared you to meet the challenges that life will present. The mission of the Alumni Association is to promote and serve the university and its alumni. Our motto is, come back, give back. And looking back at your time here, remember those who have helped you along the way. As your time and means allow, you can give back to UTSA. In fact, it's one of the most rewarding things that you can do. Stay connected by joining the Alumni Association, mentoring students, making a gift, or volunteering. These are exciting times at UTSA, and as graduates, you can be an integral part of the success of our new academic programs, our new facilities, and our new football program. The Alumni Association works closely with the university to support these efforts. You can get involved with the Alumni Association right now. We have a variety of programs with activities almost every month. We have monthly young alumni mixers, connections events, travel programs, homecoming in February, and our annual alumni gala uh, every summer. For those of you who have your UTSA ring, at the conclusion of the program, you will be asked to turn it off, take, take it off and turn it around, having the insignia face outwardly to the rest of the world to show all that you are now a proud alumnus of UTSA. In closing, let me wish you the best in your future endeavors and express my hope that you'll stay actively involved with UTSA. Continue to make investment here and you will find that it increases the value of your degree, keeps you connected with your friends, and gives you the opportunity to help not only the university, but our entire community. Congratulations and go Roadrunners! Thank you, Mr. Killen. Vice President Gage Payne will introduce our speaker for this ceremony. It is my pleasure to introduce our speaker for the evening. He is a leader, educator, motivator, and a pillar in our community. Dr. Ricardo Romo is an extraordinary success story. A native of San Antonio, he attended Fox Tech High School then moved up the road to earn a Bachelor of Science degree in education from the University of Texas at Austin. While a student at Texas, he was the first Texan to run the mile in less than four minutes, a record that stood for some 41 years. Following college, Dr. Romo became an educator, earned his master's degree in history from Loyola Mount Marymount and a PhD in history from UCLA, and then began teaching at UC San Diego. In 1980, he returned to Austin as a professor of history at UT and later served that institution as vice provost for undergraduate education. Ten years ago, in 1999, Dr. Romo made the best move of his career by becoming UTSA's fifth president and launching our university on a bold trajectory toward becoming a premier research university. Thanks to his guidance, UTSA serves its students in the local community through scholarship, teaching, and research, improving both our local economy and the quality of life through its many public programs. Most importantly, this university is now recognized as one of the state's emerging research universities. Dr. Romo is married to Dr. Harriet Romo, professor of sociology and director of both the UTSA Mexico Center and the Bank of America Child and Adolescent Policy and Research Institute. They have two children. Please join me in celebrating our president, Dr. Ricardo Romo. Thank you, Dr. Payne. Appreciate that nice introduction. And thanks to all my colleagues on the stage and in the audience. You've been a big part of the education of this outstanding class of 2009. And special thanks to Dr. Pat Graham for 35 years Dr. Graham has done an outstanding job with our commencement ceremonies. I'm looking around, and there she is, Dr. Graham. Thank you. 35 years. Wow. And Dr. Graham would be the first to tell you that she doesn't do it by herself. She has an outstanding team and many volunteers and ambassadors, a whole bunch of folks that help uh, make this ceremony very successful. Now, I do have a, this is a very joyous and occasion, and there's going to be a lot of enthusiasm and maybe some tears. I have one big favor. If you brought an air horn, please, please put it away. It's very disruptive to the people around you, 
and we lose forever the name of the person either called or the ones after them. And we are on television, and there are many people who would like to be sure every name is heard properly. So please put that air horn away or take it back to Walmart's. All right. Graduates, I'd like to ask you to take a moment and look around. Look at the people who are here tonight. Yes, you're surrounded by teachers, family members, friends, advisors, UTSA faculty and staff, and others who are just as excited as you are about being here. These are the people that have influenced your lives and helped you along the way. So I'm going to ask first our outstanding faculty to please stand and join us and be recognized. Our faculty, can I have you stand, please? <clears throat> Very good. Let's give them a hand. Thank you so much. I might add that we have five ceremonies. So our faculty representation here has to be spread into various ceremonies. So we, uh, we have a good turnout tonight. The five ceremonies is a good problem to have. Well, um, as I said to the class of 2009, there are many people here today who are just as excited as you are about being here. So I'm going to ask first the parents of today's graduates to please stand and remain standing. Can I have the parents please stand up? <clears throat> All right. Remain. Very good. Very good. I'm looking out there and I see I see some uh, big smiles. Now, please remain standing because you're going to be joined by the spouses and children, wives and husbands of these wonderful graduates and children. Please stand and remain standing. Can we have those folks stand? <clears throat> now, more excitement. I'm going to ask the grandparents, the grandchildren, the teachers, the advisors, anyone else who helped in any way with these outstanding graduates to also stand, let's give them a, a round of hands. All right. We're almost, we're almost at 80%, folks. So let me give it a shot. If you know these folks, stand up. All right. You know anybody here? Stand up. Good. All right. Now we're talking. Now, we know that these folks are graduating. Thank you. Y'all have a seat, and let's get on with this exciting ceremony. And I'm going to tell you about these folks because they have done remarkable things. You all have graduated because you studied and prepared, but also because there were people praying for you, teaching you, coaching you, helping you navigate through college life and all that it involves. And as you begin your new journey, remember that many people helped you, but you also must be of help to others. Your deeds don't have to be grand. They don't have to be on the national news. But I hope that you can make a positive difference in someone else's life. Day before yesterday, I had a chance to visit Las Palmas Elementary School in the Edgewood District. I went to visit the third grade bilingual education course taught by a UTSA grad, I might add. And it reminded me of when I started school. It reminded me that I lived in, I was in a Spanish-speaking household. No English was spoken. And so when I went to the first grade parochial school, they didn't, they didn't accept me because I didn't speak English. Thank goodness for public schools. So I went off to a public school and I met one of the most remarkable individuals in my life, the first grade teacher, Miss. Mary Vela, and we remained friends for many years. And uh, I can't tell you how much she, all the time she spent with me, trying to be sure that I would learn English, knowing good and well that if I did, I would be one day marching off to the parochial school, because that's where my parents wanted me to go. In any event, she did her job, and I went off to another school, but I always remembered her kindness. I always remembered her commitment. And I think you all can make a difference too, and you can make the difference as mentors. You'll be able to shape 
lives, improve situations, and be a source of hope where there is no hope. So as you begin a new path in life, remember all the people who have helped you and pass it on. And here's something else you might want to remember. You can handle anything life throws at you. You have the heart, determination, and intellect to become successful no matter what. As a nation, we experienced difficult things over the last few years. Wars, economic meltdown, companies closing their doors, banks going under, corporate scandals. Many naysayers said the sky was going to fall. They were doomsday theories. But they didn't give us much hope, much hope for the future. But you never gave up. You remain in your studies. You remain committed to earning your degree, and you did it. Your heart, your determination, and your intellect assured you that these things shall pass, and they are. That is the trait of success, that no matter what obstacles are placed in your path, you'll find a way to go around it and continue towards your goal. Thomas Edison once said, many of life's failures are people who did not realize how close they were to success when they gave up. From what I can see, you're not in that group. You've accomplished something already very special. You will all be successful because you constantly take the next step no matter what. And you must continue to do so in whatever you choose to do from now on. Never, never, never give up on yourself and never give up on your dreams. Now, some of you may be thinking, okay, I got it. I finished my education. What's the next step? What does this degree, this degree mean? I want you to know that whatever, whether it's graduate school or the job market, your degree means that the University of Texas at San Antonio has prepared you to be successful in whatever you choose. Some of you have had a chance to work with a Nobel laureate. Others have studied with the fellows at the prestigious American Association of the Advancement of Science. You've had classes led by one of the nation's best in the field of Alzheimer's research. You have taken courses from, from our colleagues who are ranked among the um, best in the nation. Well, your university will soon be the nation's first, will have the nation's first advanced electron microscope which is the only two in the world, one in Japan, and one will be here. The most powerful microscope in the world will be right here at UTSA, and no other university will have one. Your university is highly recognized for contributions in the arts and humanities, public policy, cybersecurity, nanotechnology, and sustainability research. Hard work and planning have resulted in all of these accomplishments and much more, and that's why your degree has such greater value. And as UTSA nears Tier 1, your degree will even gain more value linked to a nationally ranked research university. Your degree at the University of Texas San Antonio gives you an investment yielding the highest return in future security. I say this because I saw the increased return when the university was named as one of the state's emerging research universities. I saw it as an enrollment increase this year and more graduate students chose to come to UTSA. I saw it as two of our graduates were named Rhodes Scholar finalists, and one earned a spot to compete for a place in the Metropolitan Opera in New York City. I saw it as a young UTSA graduate was invited by the world-renowned Dean Kamen to fly by private jet for a visit to Kamen's DK, DK Research and Development Corporation in the East Coast. I've, seen it over and over again as our graduates and undergraduates receive fellowships and scholarships and awards and recognitions to elite programs both nationally and internationally. These accomplishments and more are the reasons that I tell you that a degree from UTSA is your foundation for a success in the future. As you walk across the stage for that degree that you earned and deserve, think about the good times the friends and the classes and all who have helped you reach this proud moment at UTSA. And as you take your next steps in life, always think orange and blue. 
Never forget about the university that is proud to call you an alumni. Be active, take part in campus events, give back in any way you can to help support those coming behind you, and continue to make UTSA proud. Good luck, realize every dream, and go Roadrunners! Thank you, President Rommel. As we prepare for our graduates to cross the stage, we ask that you refrain from standing up or leaving your seats to take pictures. We are pleased to announce that Flash Photography will be taking three professional photos of each of our graduates tonight. The graduates will receive copies of the proofs. Once again, feel free to take pictures seating at your seat. But we ask that you not leave that you not stand to take pictures during this part of the ceremony. Your cooperation is very much appreciated. Tonight's ceremony honors first those graduates who have completed the requirements for the master's degree in their respective fields. Dean Flanagan will certify the master's degree candidates for the College of Liberal and Fine Arts. Will the master's degree candidates of the College of Liberal and Fine Arts please rise and remain standing? <laughs> President Romo, it is a privilege to present candidates for the degrees of Master of Arts and the Master of Science. The graduate faculty of the College of Liberal and Fine Arts has recommended that those who stand before you, who have completed all academic requirements, receive their master's degrees. Please be seated. Dean Flanagan will now certify the master's degree candidates of the College of Public Policy. Will all master's degree candidates of the College of Public Policy please rise and remain standing. President Romo, upon recommendation of the graduate faculty of the College of Public Policy, I certify to you that the candidates who stand before you, who have completed all academic requirements, are entitled to receive the degrees of Master of Science in Justice Policy, the Master of Public Administration, or the Master of Social Work. Will all of the master's degree candidates from the College of Public Policy remain standing? Will all the master's degree candidates from the College of Liberal and Fine Arts please rise? President Romo will confer the master's degrees. By virtue of the authority vested by law in the Board of Regents University of Texas system, I now confer upon each one of you the respective academic degrees for which you have been recommended with the rights, privileges, responsibilities, and obligations pertaining thereto. And I offer my sincere congratulations, and I ask this wonderful audience to give you a terrific hand. Let's give them a big applause. Will the graduates please be seated? In consideration of the current health issues, we have been advised by the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention to have all commencement participants refrain from shaking hands during the ceremony. Thank you for understanding. And now will the graduates receiving master's degrees from the College of Liberal and Fine Arts please come forward to receive congratulations from Dean Flanagan and President Romo. Yes. Master Degrees College of Liberal and Fine Arts, Stephen Edward Arionus. <laughs> Elizabeth Ann Bailu. <laughs> Jessica Dejean Burgeon. John Grant Carr Shanahan. 
Anne-Marie Hurley, Ashley Elizabeth Pleasant, Eric Anthony Salinas, This concludes the master's degree candidates of the College of Liberal and Fine Arts. Will graduates receiving master's degrees from the College of Public Policy please come forward to receive congratulations from Dean Flanagan and President Romo. Master's Degrees, College of Public Policy, Shelley Oakley Adame. <laughs> Felix M. Alvarez. Irma Guadalupe Alvarez. Heather Ann Amaro. <laughs> Julie Dawn Barajas. Raymond Joseph Bure, Ashley Bernal, Roy Edward Casillas, Jessica A. Chavez, Brooklyn Shea Gartman, Gina Renee Gonzalez. Catherine May Greenup, Diane Alexis Grothier, Lisa Andrea Guardiola, Leticia Guerra, John Richard Hargis, Kami Charlotte Jenkins, Adrian C. Leal, Norma Jean Leal. <laughs> Selena Lopez. <laughs> Cristalina Francis Molina. <laughs> Genaro N. Montefalcón. Manuel Zavala Morales, Jr. Michelle Yvette Polanco. Maria Guillermina Rodriguez. Ias Siahut Din. Michelle Smith. Audrey Ann Vaughn. This concludes the master's degree candidates of the College of Public Policy. The baccalaureate degree candidates for the College of Liberal and Fine Arts will be certified by Dean Jello. Will all baccalaureate degree candidates from the College of Liberal and Fine Arts please rise and remain standing. President Romo, upon recommendation of the faculty of the College of Liberal and Fine Arts, I certify to you that the candidates who stand before you, who have completed all academic requirements, are entitled to receive their degrees. Please be seated. The baccalaureate degree candidates for the College of Public Policy will be certified by Dean Haynes. Will all baccalaureate degree candidates of the College of Public Policy please rise and remain standing.
President Romo, upon recommendation of the faculty of the College of Public Policy, I certify to you that the candidates who stand before you, who have completed all academic requirements, are entitled to receive their degrees. Will the baccalaureate degree candidates in the College of Public Policy remain standing? And will the baccalaureate degree candidates from the College of Liberal and Fine Arts please rise? President Romo will confer the baccalaureate degrees. All right, this is the moment we've all been waiting for. Here we go. By virtue of the authority vested by law in the Board of Regents University of Texas system, I now confer upon each one of you the respective academic degrees for which you have been recommended with all the rights, privileges, responsibilities, and obligations pertaining thereto, and I offer my sincere congratulations, and I ask the entire audience to give you one big hand. Let's give them applause. Please be seated. Crossing the stage first to receive their diplomas in each college will be the summa cum laude graduates, followed by the magna cum laude graduates, and in turn followed by the cum laude graduates. These honor graduates wear the gold cord to recognize the excellence each has demonstrated in her or his academic pursuits. Will all graduates of the College of Liberal and Foreign Arts please come forward to receive your diplomas and to be congratulated by Dean Jello and President Romo. Baccalaureate degrees, College of Liberal and Fine Arts, summa cum laude, Christine Melissa Hartwick, summa cum laude. Kyle N. Owen, summa cum laude. Elizabeth N. Schitzminski, summa cum laude. Bertha Bernice Valdez, summa cum laude. Baccalaureate degrees, magna cum laude, Dan Raymond Daniel Birch. Sarah Kat Kathleen Chrisman, magna cum laude. Mira Anabel Hernandez, magna cum laude. Asimi Komazuava, magna cum laude. Blanca R. Pocorni, magna cum laude. Lauren Elizabeth Steinhauser, magna cum laude. Robin Nicole Whitrick, magna cum laude. Baccalaureate degrees cum laude, Carlos Alvarado. Timothy Lee Blake, cum laude. Emiliano A. Calderon, cum laude. Siobhan N. Finley, cum laude. Adriana M. Garcia, cum laude. Dilip Pradeep Gothail, cum laude. Christopher L. Harriman, cum laude. Elisa Leal, cum laude. Megan Lebrecht, cum laude. Mallory Renee Miller, cum laude. Jacqueline Annette Morris, cum laude. Linda Carolyn Phillips, cum laude. Julia Joy Price, cum laude. Cristal Don Ramirez, cum laude. Vincent J. Rizzo, cum laude. Georgina Rodriguez, cum laude. Yeah. 
Megan Lee Schiefer, cum laude. Cliff Watkins, cum laude. Baccalaureate Degrees College of Liberal and Fine Arts, Jacqueline E. Abad. April Sharisi Allen. Cristal Marie Alvarado. Ana Alvarez Kisi. Jessica Monique Alvarez. Jacqueline Amescua. Amber Gail Anderson. Brandon S. Aniol. Christine Marie Arbini. Sean Argeyes. Crystal Ann Armitage. Mario Antonio Arribas. Diana M. Astudillo. Enid Libby Atilano. Chiara Bajwa. Clifford Ray Barber. Juliana Barrera. Julian Barrera. Danielle Lee Bates. Brianne E. Baum. Jordan Kate Bellows. Eric Daniel Bigelow. Andres Bocanegra El Tercero. Louis Boone the Fourth. Christina Marisa Brown. Matthew Ross Sedebaca. Samantha Ann Caloy. Ryan Livingston Carter. Katie Lynn Casas. Brianna De Casillas. Ernie Emmanuel Cavazo Jr. Vanessa B. Cerda. Melody Clay. K. C. Cole. Amanda Grace Coleman. Kelly Morgan Cordova. Michael Hugh Darjalek. William Stewart Darley. Juan Candelario Davila. Roman G. De La Garza. Lachelle D. Dixon. Stephanie M. Dodson. Nicole Renee Doyle. Clarissa Celesta Escamilla. Nathaniel Joel Fickle. Samuel J. Flores El Tercero. Cheryl Denise, Denise Foster. Landis Lentz Fowler. Frederick R. Fraigio III. Claudia P. Franco. J. 
Jacqueline Susan Galindo. Karenjit Singh Gambir. Patricia Garcia. Steven Garcia El Segundo. Patrick Brian Gleason. Sarah Darlene Ann Godfrey. Charlene Marcia Galladay. Nathaniel Gonzalez. Delia Lopez Gonzalez. Vanessa M. Gonzalez. Sky Antoinette Hall. Chester Bernard Hellman. Nicholas Sean Harper. Crystal Nicole Henry. Sarah Rose Hernandez. Anna May Uron. Susanna Irving. What's his Keita Ishikawa. Eddie Jaimes El Segundo. Taylor Marie Jenkins. Bridget L. Julio. Daniela Vasquez. Gabriela E. Kerase. Erisa Kukuno. Megan Elizabeth Kennell. Ashley Perez Kirk. Simon Emmanuel Kolokoff. Philip Martin Coates. Andrew Craig Lamica. Araceli Leal. Jonathan Burt Lees. Lisa Joy Ledlow. Evelyn P. Leon. Elmo Daniel Lopez. Eloisa Mata. Amber Marie McGee. Amber Julianne Menchaca. Diana Mendoza. Allison Claire Miller. Cody B. Miller. Eduardo Michel Mondragon. Luis D. Montemayor. Michelle Montemayor. Ryan Christopher Moat. Catherine J. Moy. Clarissa A. Nino. William Stewart O'Connor. Foy Colt Osborne. Regina Marie Ozuna. Anna Tron. Cindy Melgarejo. Jose Alonso Corpus. Holly Markham. Deborah Cuellar. Matthew Thomas Peabody. Andrea Celeste Peña. Marcela G. Peña. Ana Alicia Perez. Jennifer Michelle Perez. Gillian D. Peterson.
Sarah Ann Phillips. Frank Plata. Madeline Marie Popham. Angela Marie Porter. Vivian Marie Quintero. Juan Eduardo Quiroz, Jr. Ashley Renee Reisner. Gregory Reiter. Riddle. Enrique Gustavo Riddle. Genevieve Guadalupe Rivas. Jose E. Rodriguez. Marisa A. Rodriguez. Jason A. Rosales. Ismael Gabriel Rosas. Lauren Nicole Rosas. Andrea Lisa Ruiz. Faustino C. Salinas El Tercero. Valerie Nadine Salinas. Todd Brian C. Jacob Larry Schaefer. Jackson Paul Scherer. Catherine Skinner. Natalie Ray Smith. Miria. Mireya J. Soria. Jaime Lee Spencer, or Jamie. Meredith Lee Sylvester. Catherine Ann Turnage. Marshall William Ulick. Rosalinda Urriegas. Amelia Lynn Vargas. Maritza Miriam Venegas. Juan Miguel Ventura. Santiago Villarreal Jr. Jacob Allen Booth. Jessica Juniel Walker. Trondolin Annette Walker. Nancy Overton Thompson. Danielle Lynn Williams. Natisha Larry Williams. Robin Nicole Wilson. Janet Zamora. Elizabeth Grace Zampisi. This concludes the baccalaureate degree candidates from the College of Liberal and Fine Arts. Will the College of the Will the graduates of the College of Public Policy please come forward to receive your diplomas and to be congratulated by Dean Hayes and President Romo. Baccalaureate Degrees, College of Public Policy, Summa Cum Laude, Timothy Allen Carter. Charity Ann Sanchez, Summa Cum Laude. Anna S. Wells, Summa Cum Laude. Carrie Frances Wiggers, Summa Cum Laude. Baccalaureate Degrees Magna Cum Laude, College of Public Policy, Alda Veronica Munoz. Baccalaureate Degrees Cum Laude, College of Public Policy, Daniel Mark Contreras. Whitney Christine Howe Cum Laude. Emily Melissa Lee Cum Laude. Danica S. Plummer Cum Laude. Yvette Reese Cum Laude. 
Baccalaureate Degrees College of Public Policy, Marie del Socorro Agu Maria del Socorro Aguilar. <laughs> Shamris Amin Ali. Edward Anthony Arguello El Tercero. Daya Benki. Daya Benki. Joseph Maxfield Bidler. Andrea Sarai Cabrera. Jan Ray Agustin Calpito. Aaron M. Cardenas. Michael Anthony Castillo. Andre L. Sherry. Lacey A. Cook. Angelica Marie Corpus. Eric De Santiago. Dorinda Marie Mikel de Goroff. Lydia Imelda Escobar. Joe Nicole Fierro. Christina Finger Cross. Nathaniel Charles Frink. Anita Marie Garcia. Carlos Fidel Garcia. Brenda A. Garza. Gowin. Virginia Ann Gowin. Cody Wayne Hagelin. Stephen William Castillo Hannell. James Michael Hayward. Cecilia Leal Herrera. Amber Jonell Jones. Jessica Lynn Marines. Darwin Roger Martel. Gerardo Mata. Michael McLaughlin. Anna Miorelli. Bridget Gail Montañez. Rina Ann Morales. Priscilla Ochoa. Beyond Min U. Esther Vanessa Olivares. Christopher, Christopher Daniel Ortiz. Erica Leanne Perez. Rehan Raju. Luis Gerardo Ramirez Jr. Roberto Ruben Reina. Janice Georgette Rivera. Leopoldo Aaron Romo. Rothenbach. Elisa Leanne Rothenbach. Amalia Salas. Linda Marie Sanchez. Sonia Sandoval. Jessica Ann Schraub. Courtney Richelle Sutherland. Elisa B. Trejo. Kevin Trevino. Sergio Villanueva. Felicia Villarreal. And Cristina Yvette Villarreal.
to signify a rite of passage. To signify a rite of passage and graduation from the University of Texas at San Antonio, will the graduates please shift the tassel on the mortarboard to the left side and congratulations. For those of you who purchased a UTSA ring, now is the time to take it off and turn it around, having the insignia face outwardly to the rest of the world to show that you are now a proud alumna or alumnus of UTSA, and congratulations. I now ask you to stand and enjoy Christopher E. Garcia as he leads us in singing the UTSA Alma Mater. Will the audience please be seated? We ask that all guests remain seated until the graduates leave the Convocation Center. The UTSA Mariachi Los Paisanos will perform the recessional music. Will the University Marshal take up the mace and the Banner Marshals retrieve the college banners and lead the graduates in the recessional? This signifies the conclusion of the University's College of Liberal and Fine Arts and the College of Public Policy December 2009 commencement ceremony. Thank you for coming to our celebration. Muchas gracias y muy buenas noches.
aquí con su rebozo de seda que le traje de tepí. Aunque traes a mi negra que la quiero ver aquí con su rebozo de seda que le traje de tepí. 